Hello everyone, Sketchman911 here with another rant. Oh, oh, it feels good to be back in the saddle. Today's topic, RE-verse, and why the Resident Evil fanbase needs to get the stick out of their ass. Before we start, a little fun fact about me. I like Resident Evil. A lot. A lot. And, like some of us, I was there watching the RE Showcase on January 21st. Super good, by the way. Village looks fucking dope. But there was also another announcement. RE Verse. A free, and I want to emphasize that word, online player deathmatch featuring some of Resident Evil's legendary characters, as long as they were rendered in the RE engine. And the assertion upon its announcement was... I have nothing but disgust for our reverse. This is basically Operation Raccoon City multiplayer and that sucked. I'm tired of these Battle Royale games. I want a co-op game like Outbreak. Seems like it's trying to capitalize on Fortnite's success. Does not look good at all. Literally, no one asked for this. Could you remake Outbreak? <laughs> you serious? Unfavorable, to say the least. Now, bear in mind, we haven't even played the fucking thing at the time of this recording, and people have been raging at Capcom for yet another shameless cash grab. If this story seems at all familiar, it's because the community said essentially the same thing upon the announcement of Resident Evil Resistance, which, you know, for all intents and purposes, was a Dead by Daylight clone wearing an RE skin, the thing was, Resistance was actually kind of fucking good, and it had a lot of potential. Until Capcom shit canned the whole thing and stopped supporting it because no one was playing. Why? Because everyone wrote it off as a shameless cash grab, and never bothered to look into it. And this is where we veer off of RE-verse and get into the real meat of today's video. In all honesty, RE-verse isn't going to be great and I'm not expecting it to be. It's a quick little side project being made to go along with the release of Village and celebrate the 25th anniversary. And for some of us lucky people, we get to participate in a closed beta before other people due to being ambassadors. So that's why it pisses me off that people are getting so fucking mad about this game that we barely know anything about. Honestly, I hope it's good just so people have to eat crow about bitching before they even play the fucking thing. It really bugs me when people I respect like the Sphere Hunter writing off this when none of us have played the fucking game yet. And I want to keep repeating that because that is really what bugs me the most. Talk about biting the hand that feeds. RE fans are such fucking spoiled brats. They remake Resident Evil 2, and it's downright perfect. Then they spam Capcom for an RE3 remake, then bitch about Resistance, which I figured was just a little B-project in between RE2 and the next game that they were going to make. Then, Resident Evil 3 remake gets released, and people bitch about it, and demand that Capcom release an entire new section of the game in a director's cut. And a year later, they are getting a free game with one of the most anticipated sequels in this series since Resident Evil 4, and they throw a fucking tantrum about it! If you honestly thought you were getting something akin to a new outbreak while literally everyone on the RE team is working on Village, you're fucking delusional! I am so sick to death of people writing shit off at first glance. I know first impressions are important, but Jesus Christ, we barely know what the game is gonna be like. Give it a fucking chance! And if you don't like it afterwards, then oh well, it ain't for you, but at least you tried. Personally, I am of the opinion that all Resident Evil is valid. Even the shit that most people don't like, including me. There are people out in the world who genuinely like the uh, Wes, uh, Paul W.S. Anderson, Mila Jovovich films, and I personally think that those films are an insult to the entire franchise. I'm not trying to tell people how to think. Really, I'm not. All I am asking is that you open your mind. And this is not just specific to the RE community. It's all communities, not just even in gaming. People 
are so unwilling to fucking change and admit that they are wrong. Human nature, I suppose. But, be nice if people did it more than once in a while. Anyways, I suppose I'll catch flack for this video, because yet again, I find myself going out to bat for games that no one seemingly likes. But, oh well. Anyways, let me know what you think in the comments. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you again soon. Later.